Alright, well, here's another FIE E15. I don't know how well we'll be able to read that. There we go. FIE model E15. 22 long. This is, uh, I'm going to do basically the same thing on this one that I did on the one you saw previously. Uh, the hammer may end up being a little different, you know, just because I'm, I'm doing a custom one of, and I don't have the other one sitting here uh, to compare. I'll be looking back at my own videos. <clears throat> but uh, you can get, you can see here the coloring of it. Uh, it's dark. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and bead blast it. And it's going to end up being that matte aluminum finish. And uh, we'll see if it gets left like that or if it goes back a dark color. Um, I'll find out what's preferred and go from there. This is a little loose, same as it was in the other one. Um, everything else seems to be pretty good shape. Just some surface rust. Um, everything seems to function just fine. So we'll uh, get it apart and start the work. Getting everything out to where you can see it because I've already done a video that does that and so if you need some more information, just reference that video. Now our center pin there, it's it's frozen in there pretty good. We'll take a, some brass, tap on it, see if I can loosen it. And it is not loosening. Alright, we'll go on getting the rest of it pulled apart and we'll worry about that here a little bit later. <coughs> Make sure on these that you get your front screw out of there first. And this one's loose. You get it out of there that way you can't you don't have to worry about breaking that front tab off. And I like to go ahead and get these rear screws undone before the bottom ones. Uh, this part of the handle and frame is a little stronger down on the bottom here than it is up here. And if your mainspring was tensioned overly tight or something, uh, or you already had a little bit of a weak spot there. Less of a chance of it breaking down here from loosening these than it is breaking up here from loosening these, having it twist. And you can, I'll zoom in here. You can watch this as I unscrew that you'll see it start to raise up that's that mainspring but ideally I'll just hold a little pressure down um, you want to make sure not to let go here when you still got one screw still threaded in because it can put pressure over there and cause you all kinds of problems. So, there's that. We have our spring. And down here you're gonna have a detent and a ball. I don't 
know. We'll do a little more work on it. I'll see what I can find out. Um, as far as the mainspring, it's a pretty simple one to do. All you do is just get you a punch and hammer it out. I'm just got it locked up here. I'm just going to take a punch. Alright, I'm going to try and do this over here so you all can see. I'm going to be dry hammering with my right hand and holding with my left hand. I'm left handed. I'm probably going to hit myself. A little closer. And here we go. Got him on retard today. Is that better? There we go. And there it goes. Now, we've got our safety to remove. Now, you got to watch this safety. There is a detent down in there with a tiny, tiny ball that will absolutely cause you to lose it. Yep, I just did what I preached to y'all about not doing with the screwdriver. Now, like on this one, the other one too, the barrel will just unscrew. There's the barrel.